What's up guys, this is Final like Puma, and I've been trying to script out a new Fallout video ever since a bunch of the new Fallout 76 gameplay footage came out. At this point, I'm pretty sure that you've all seen that gameplay footage, but I guess if you're interested in my thoughts on the gameplay and how it looks, I'll go ahead and I'll say this. From a visual and level design perspective, Fallout 76 is actually pretty impressive. The size of the map kind of blew me away due to its size, and there appears to be a lot of variation in some of the different locations. Especially when compared to Fallout 4, which mostly featured a lot of streamlined environments. Plus, I think Bethesda could definitely be commended for Fallout 76's lighting effects, as certain shots of the game at times definitely do look really good. Aside from gameplay though, I also think it's a good thing that Bethesda finally got around to clarifying a little bit more about how mods will work for Fallout 76. And this is because Pete Hines spoke with GameSpot and mentioned that Fallout 76 will have private servers for players to run their own mods. While it does suck that Pete mentioned that mods are coming to Fallout 76 as early as November 2019, it is nice that we do appear to be getting private servers, as opposed to the private worlds that Todd Howard mentioned earlier on this year. So I guess in the long term, it's possible that Fallout 76 might become something really special, especially once the modders manage to really get their hands on the game. However, what I actually wanted to talk about today is a lot of the negative reception that the greater Fallout community has had to the release of all of this gameplay, as well as some of the revelations that the gameplay has revealed to us. If you look around online at the comment sections of a lot of different YouTube channels, as well as a few media outlets that got invited to the Greenbrier event, you'll notice that a lot of people don't seem to be particularly enthused with the game. As a great example, check out some of these comments that appear in the PC Gamer article that I've linked in the video description. The Vault Dweller and the Chosen One are spinning in their graves. I like Fallout. I like the occasional survival game. I love co-op games. I like open world games. But every single thing they have ever said or revealed about Fallout 76 have made me less and less interested in it. This gameplay have not changed my mind. And then finally, we have... This looks more like a Walking Dead game with a Fallout conversion mod. This does not feel or look like the Fallout series. This trend appears to extend to the comment sections of various YouTube videos showing Fallout 76 gameplay with some of these comments. I remember when Fallout was about your moral decisions and being able to have choices in a game. Not exploring a world and building up your character. The moral decisions mattered most to me. Is there any choice in this Fallout? Based on the comments, I'm pretty sure all this video did was boost pre-orders for Red Dead Redemption 2. I like Fallout when it's single player and you can make it your own with choices and attack things at your own level and pace. Not having a bunch of kids that play a 24-7 kill me constantly because they don't work or do anything so they're online all the time. It just looks like a cash grab in my opinion. I don't plan on buying it unless it gets a sale and it's very cheap. If other people buy it and love it, more power to ya, but I'll pass. You've even got the Fallout subreddit with an entire thread talking about how Bethesda has ultimately retconned the Brotherhood of Steel, and a number of fans have left comments like these. I'm okay with some lore changes to make things make more sense, but this is just stupid. It actively makes the world make less sense just so Bethesda can have the Brotherhood of Steel in the game. I hate how they need the Brotherhood and Super Mutants to be prominent in everything, and how their solution to ideas that wouldn't work is just, lol, let's change the lore. Small stuff can even be good sometimes, like adding backstory to the Master in Fallout 2. Big stuff like this is pretty stupid because it makes the game look like a cheap cash-in that uses recognizable iconography to make up for its lack of interesting content. Bethesda knows that the fanbase doesn't want retcons like this. Are they not creative enough to create their own faction lore without ruining this one? I'd say that this could have been handled with more tact. It doesn't make sense for the Brotherhood of Steel to come into existence 20 years after the bombs dropped in the southeast when they were a west coast organization. I'd have been okay if we were seeing what would become the foundation of the Brotherhood around this time, like a proto-Brotherhood group that would eventually migrate west and form a part of what would eventually become the Brotherhood of Steel. 
In this case, though, it appears they've left Tact at the door and are ham-fisting Brotherhood content into the game in a matter that doesn't even make sense with even the Bethesda-established timeline. Now, I've showed you a bunch of different comments across the internet here, and while it's worth mentioning that some of these comments were picked out specifically to illustrate a point, and there are definitely some positive comments out there, the comments in general on PC Gamer across various gameplay reveal videos on YouTube, and especially in the case of the Brotherhood of Steel retcon thread on the Fallout subreddit, all seem to really slant towards being negative. Even a couple of different gaming websites have significant criticisms of Fallout 76, with articles on Forbes talking about how Fallout 76's real-time's VAT system looks terrible, and you even have IGN of all outlets where they have made videos on their own website specifically pointing to the fact that Fallout 76's graphics look rough, which is pretty impressive considering how IGN popularized giving games a 7 out of 10. So what we have here seems to be a perfect storm. Not only do casual fans of Fallout seem to be turned off by the game's overall presentation, but the hardcore fan base is upset for a number of reasons, ranging from how Fallout 76 isn't a single-player game, to even specifics about how the game is needlessly retconning previously established lore. Add that to how several news outlets are talking about the game, and what we have here is honestly a disaster. Some of you guys are going to think that I'm being hyperbolic when I say this, but as a creator and a fan of the Fallout franchise, I don't think there has ever been a worse time to be a Fallout fan. Sure, we've definitely had upset fans before with the early criticisms of Fallout 4's graphics, the rift between fans of Bethesda's traditional Fallout games versus Black Isle and Obsidian's Vision, and I'm sure people were definitely concerned with Bethesda's decision to make Fallout 3 first person, but I don't think things have ever been as bad as they are right now. Not only are the people that enjoy Bethesda single-player games alienated, but the hardcore fans of Fallout are starting to feel pretty alienated as a result of all of the obnoxious retcons to the Fallout lore. It's almost like Bethesda is totally unfamiliar with the lore, or even worse, they are familiar with the lore, but then they go ahead and make decisions that break the lore anyway. Why on earth is the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 76 when Fallout 76 is supposed to be set in 2102 and by that time in the timeline, the Brotherhood of Steel is supposed to be on the West Coast? It's weird to me and I don't want to point out any names because I'm going to get accused of starting some drama and I'm sure I'm already going to have plenty of accusations of me being jealous over not getting invited to an event, but... There are very talented people in our YouTube community that have to know the lore, they have to have a good relationship with Bethesda, and yet none of this ever seems to be brought up. Or maybe, and to their credit, it is being brought up, but for whatever reason, their concerns are just not brought to the right people. I would encourage everyone to speak up because at a certain point, we're going to wake up one day and instead of having low bar headlines like Fallout 76 isn't a proper Fallout game, but it's fun anyway, to headlines like, well, hey, at least it's got power armor. But I digress. I think that fans are a combination of underwhelmed and frustrated by Fallout 76, and while it's not like Bethesda can really do anything about it at this precise moment, I think they should really look at how the game is currently being received, look at how well the game eventually sells, and then make a decision from there. Assuming that Fallout 76 is massively successful, I'll certainly be proven wrong and I'll look pretty stupid, but I have a feeling that between the reception online from fans and media outlets, that this likely isn't going to happen. One more thing before I go here, but I want to talk a little bit about some of the parallels that I see between what's currently going on with the fandom menace in Star Wars and how it's kind of similar to what we may be seeing with Bethesda and Fallout. Now, to be clear, it's not the same as Todd Howard hasn't come out and called anybody a man baby yet, but there is something to be said of trying to appease your hardcore fan base. In the case of Star Wars, the hardcore fans were and are the people that defend the brand to the death and are the people that cosplay and bring plastic lightsabers to go see the films when they come out. They love the films so much that their fanaticism is covered on the news, which in turn inspires other people to want to go see the films. 
The point that I'm trying to get at is that you live and die by the hardcore fans, as they inspire others to care about what it is that you create. If you don't take it seriously, why should the hardcore fans, and why should anyone else for that matter? Compared to other video game franchises, Fallout is one of the most popular ones in the world that still has its fair share of dedicated fans. But like Star Wars, it ain't bulletproof, and I hope that Bethesda can course correct and improve things in the future. Otherwise guys, I think that's going to wrap up this particular video. Maybe some of you guys think I'm totally crazy for what I'm saying here, and you're going to laugh at me when Fallout 76 comes out, it's a massive success, and gets 9 out of 10s across the board. Or maybe you agree, and you're kind of concerned about all the lack of enthusiasm surrounding Fallout these days. As always, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But, as always, if you like this video, feel free to like it, click the bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos, and as always, and again, thank you all so much for supporting this channel, take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.